Oh, hi, PLS. Here's my Saturday video that I'm obligated to this week. Talking about families this week, huh? All right. I guess I'll talk about my strange family. All right, so first of all, my parents divorced when I was like 13. And here's where things get crazy. First of all, my mom, when she was staying with a uh, her uh, second husband in like a small apartment. So me and my sister stayed at our house with my dad. So it's already unlike usual situations as I was mainly raised from my dad. Maybe that's where my masculine angry energy comes from. So friggin' I lived with my dad and then my dad got remarried. So I have a stepmom who was awesome. I have a younger stepsister who was awesome. She's in culinary school right now, actually in New York City. I'm like so proud. And then I have a younger brother who is also awesome or stepbrother, I mean. And then my older sister, who's my actual sister, and she has her own family now, and she has like two kids and her own house. And then on my mom's side, my mom is also now remarried to a really cool guy, very nice, and I also have a stepsister. She's really cool too. So I feel like my own personal immediate family is so big. It kind of offsets the fact that my extended family, I do have extended family, but we just don't, I don't know, I feel like my parents on both sides have a lot of family that they're estranged from. So it is kind of a blessing to have such a large immediate family, but I also, you know, I wish I were closer to my extended family. I do. And now I feel a little bit like it's been so long. Like, is it too late to repair the, these relationships I used to have when I was like a kid? I don't know. Kind of a sensitive issue. So, you know, I'm gonna make this a life lesson. One of J.P. Metz's life friggin' lessons, okay? I think that if you have a problem with a family member, I, I think it's worth it to make the effort to repair that relationship because you don't want to get to the point where you're just not talking to them and then years and years and years go by and then, I don't know, you just kind of live your own lives and just grow apart and then they're kind of almost not even really a part of your family anymore and then you end up regretting things. So that said, because my parents have kind of gone through that, I feel like my relationship with my siblings I just, I, I can't imagine myself actually ever losing touch with them. I, I really just, I'm going to make an effort to not let that happen. I think that's a lesson you guys should take too. If you have a family mess member who's pissing you off, it might be worth it to be like, hey, you know what, Aunt Flo? You know, you're kind of pissing me off. I don't want to cut you out of my life, so I'm telling you, you're pissing me off. And stop. But I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say other than that. My family is pretty boss. We've gone through a lot together with all that you probably know, like I had a flood in my basement earlier this year and tough things happen, but we stick together and we persevere. So just don't, just don't quit talking to your family, okay? That's my lesson. One of the things about having blended families like all over the place, I, it kind of makes it really difficult when holidays come up. You know, even at my age, I'm 26 years old and to this day, it's still kind of awkward, like, all right, whose house am I going over for Thanksgiving, for Christmas? Because my, my mom has a Thanksgiving and Christmas at my, at my dad's house, Thanksgiving, Christmas. My sister has Thanksgiving, Christmas at her house. And it's like, where do I go? That's the problem I have. I have too many places to go. But this year, I'm going to stay at my dad's house, I think, because... Well, you know, my stepmom makes a really good corn casserole. It's seriously, like, it's so good and it's so fattening, which is bad because I've been on so many, but, you know, I just, I, I really want it, so. All right, is this long enough?